Blams. Me, I'm tight. Is he talking about you? Well, don't worry. Today, I'm going to help you with the most controversial part of Final Fantasy XIV's endgame, the pay to win glams. We're going to play a little cop or drop. Cop meaning I'd buy it, I recommend it. Drop meaning you'd have to thread to drop me out of a 10 story building to get me to wear that. Okay, let's go. Okay, the brand new Alize's attire, Gaia's attire, Lisa's attire, brand new Alfie attire, all these one piece uh, attires. You, you can't split them up into specific parts. For example, you can't use like Gaia's top without using the rest of the outfit. Also, there's this common problem with the hairstyles. When you get like, you get like Alize's attire and you, you put the hairstyle and you just kind of look like a dollar store Alize. For me, that's a drop. I do Can's attire. This one's new. I like the hat on the slacks version. I also here though that it's hard to mix and match the skirt version because the cutoffs are weird for me this one's a drop fat cat attire the top is really good and dies very well for that alone this is a cop but if you're into the whole uwu pajama style then that's a double cop for you hard northern attire the hat's kind of cool i could see it having potential but let's be honest this is a drop street attire this is the easy w most effortless cop in the game the boots are kind of whack but besides that every piece hits here including both of the tops oracle's attire for the boots alone this one's a cop omega m and f attire see these are like those one piece attires it makes a little more sense for these costumes as opposed to the other one piecers but if, if you're into them it should be an easy cop for you but personally for me these are a drop Dureshi attire to the top and naruto headband had me using the take my money jutsu cop it's a cop Eastern Lords attire, easy cop if you're into streetwear or K-pop. For me, it was the shoes that sold me, but the bucket hat has proven to be a timeless staple since the day this costume dropped. Eastern Ladies attire, not as good as Lord, but still decent. To this day, I have no idea what's going on with this hat and why the set came with a skirt instead of pants, just based on the rest of the look, but individual pieces stand on their own, especially the gloves, so that's a cop. Schoolboy and girl outfits. If you're into the whole anime school thing, it's a cop i bought it but i don't think i've ever used it so for me this is a drop in hindsight i mean i bought it but in hindsight it's a drop also for whatever reason the meanest people i run into in this game are always wearing this fucking outfit with the uwu weapon what's what's up with that what's 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 going on there the burst eagers attire is that how you say it you know the hat and the gloves of potential but this is a drop the dirndl's attire i have no idea what a dirndl is dirndl but yeah 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 that's two massive cops for me dude peacock's attire you see this is a weird case where the chest piece does everything and every other piece is pretty bad in my opinion so that's a drop actually I, I, looking at it i bought it but that's a drop the hindsight drop hindsight drop the meg deca aka the fairy outfit for the low low price of USD. You can be a fairy. Honestly, I bought the outfit for the memes, but it turns out the boots that come with it are actually pretty dope and, and uh, very versatile. That's a cop. Brand new Yustola. I know most of the Scion fits are lumped together, but the gloves are so fucking hot that this set becomes an auto cop for me. Plus, you can pretend you're close with the Yustola cosplayer, which let's be honest, we all want to be. Alma's attire. Uh, this outfit is mid and it's gender locked. Rock. Eastern Journey's attire. This outfit is the definition of mid. That's a drop. Our Eastern Officer's uniform. Uh, this is a solid set. Never really messed with it a lot, but plenty of other people have, and there's still some pretty good pieces here. That's a cop. Our Eastern Maiden's uniform. The top from the set is iconic. The boots and the pants are also really good. Cop. The Mungake attire? Bro, what even is this? The hat having shades attached to it is really cool. I'll give it that, but like, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> Drop. Eastern Socialites attire. Huh. The hat's decent, but the rest of the fit is pretty mid. That's a drop. Or Eastern schoolboys uniform. Another hat with glasses attached. Honestly, I like this one more. The top isn't bad, but I swear these shoes have been put in the game like a hundred times already. And it's gender locked. Drop. Our Eastern schoolgirls uniform. Now this, this is what we're talking about. And to me, this is the elite among elite in the cash shop. Hair ribbon is a stable, especially on cat girls. The top is so elegant yet playful with the dope mix of patterns and textures and it dies decent. Recently. The boots are also a sleeper hit. Frankly, I think this might be one of the best values on the cash shop. Uh, definitely the best item for cat girls. 
The only downside is that it's gender locked, which is a big issue that SE seems to be slowly working on. Let's hope the boys will be able to use the hair ribbon soon. That's a cop. Minfilla's modish attire. <laughs> drop. Titus's outfit. If you like Titus, Titus, you'll probably like this outfit. Uh, drop. Yuna's outfit. If you like Yuna, you, you'll probably like this outfit. Ah. Fairy Tale Prince's outfit. It's gender locked and kind of mid. None of the pieces really stand out to me. For the life of me, I can't remember ever seeing anyone wear this. Drop. Fairy Tale Princess outfit. Whoa, that. <laughs> What's going on with that dress? The heels are pretty good too. Also, it's gender locked. Uh, this one's better than the fairy tale prince, but it's still a drop for me. The angelic and demonic attires are both a fat cop, dude. For the headpieces, the wings are also unique. You think maybe with like fashion accessory wings, these would fall out of rotation, but these ones can be worn in duties. So yeah. The Nezha Lord slash ladies attire uh l plus ratio plus gender lock plus mid drop carbuncle tires so these are okay just not my thing i've seen people pull it off it's cool that there's three colors but it really should just be one dyeable outfit instead of charging 18 bucks for each color that's a scam drop distress manderville tire bro what drop the loyal housemaid plus butler uniforms oh yeah baby this is what i'm talking about both outfits are iconic the shoes for the butler's uniform s tier also they aren't gender locked you know they had to fix that for the bunny boys back when n walker dropped uh yeah that's an easy cop the far eastern gentleman beauty and noble attires uh nothing in any of these three stand out i do like the nobles top a little bit but let's be honest these are all easy props Fuga attire. Dude, the top is so good on every character in the game, dude. It dies beautifully and is surprisingly versatile. That's a cop. Our Eastern garb for men slash women. These are okay. I mean, the dress on the women's one's pretty good, but overall, these are gonna have to be a drop. The Moogle attire. Uh, it's a Moogle outfit. Top. Emmerich's attire. It is in a one-piece bullshit outfit like the modern and Walker era character costumes. It's got the hairstyle, which is neat. I think as far as character costumes go, this is one of the better ones so i'll give it a cop also amrick is based the ward knight and mages attires only buy if you want to look like an npc in everyone else's game drop our eastern patriarch dude among the silly hats in some of these outfits this is one of the worst offenders but look at this thing dude i'm sorry that's a drop our eastern matriarch eh, never mind that has pretty silly but also kind of cool the dress is really neat to me you know a cop Okay, most of the rest of these outfits are all cosplays, so we're going to run through them super quick, lightning round style. Also, I've been looking at costume sets on the online store for the last three hours. My brain is going numb, so... Kosetsu's attire, cop. Yen's attire, cop. Scion Liberator, aka the Lease attire, drop. Stola's modish attire, cop. Ankrid's modish attire, cop. Sid's attire, drop. Garland Ironworks attire, drop. Infilia's attire, drop. Stola's attire, drop. Ankrid's attire, drop. Ida's attire, how do you pronounce that name? Drop. Papalimo's attire, drop. Rianje's attire, cop. Okay, Lightning and Snow's attire. If you like these and you use them, uh, you probably haven't updated your outfit or hairstyle since 2014. I'll just come out and say all the event attires are cheaper. So if you like any of them, it should be an easy cop, especially the chicken suit. Black bosom attire, I think cop. The hat's rad as hell. And it's cool that you can dress up like Etta. That's one of the cooler stories in all of 14. Look, I know it's not a costume, but let me just set the record straight. You buy a story skip or a job skip, those are drops, man. And let me tell you why. If you buy them, good for you, you know, whatever. Do your thing. But we all know your Jordans are fake as fuck, okay? We all see it. And yeah, we all see, we all see your damage. Now, if you're new or not interested in dropping any money in the cash shop, that's totally understandable. You can still have pretty cool glam even early on in the game. In fact, I can show you how to in this video here.